are you doing out here? No, 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 this way. Roy. Oh, flaming Nora. Roy. Roy, it's Carla. Darling, you, you're sleepwalking, I think. I, I need you to wake up for me. Roy. Roy. It's okay. It's okay. You're all right. What are we doing out here? You, you're sleepwalking, darling. Come on. I'll get you in. Let's get you home. Come on. It's freezing. Come on. It's okay. You're all right. It's all right. Just saying, it feels naughtier when you're in somebody else's bed. It's like eating someone else's chips. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I knew this would happen. I can't believe she's locked up and left it in this state. We are talking about Gemma. Yeah, I know. You give somebody a chance, and this is what they do. <sighs> Voicemail. What was that? No, no, no. Johnny, Johnny, be careful. Don't... Oh. <gasps> oh, thank God. Oh. I thought you were never coming home. Oh, what happened to you, not you in? I should have. Look, I need to get Jules in. I'm sorry. Right. Well, the thing is, um, I know this looks bad. Yeah. Yeah, you got that right. I mean, you were meant to be in charge and look at the state of the place. So what were you two doing in the cellar? Well, we just wanted a bit of time on our own, like. In the cellar? Stop saying it like that. Right, so while you two were getting it on down there, who was up here looking after the place? Emma. And don't forget your PE kit, Max. OK. Come on, let's get our skates on. Come on, Lily, let me do this up. Sit. And if I were you, I'd put my feet up for half an hour. Enjoy the peace and quiet. See you later. You know, I used to think having two bathrooms was a bit posh, but I tell you what, living here... <laughs> right, I'm off to join that slave driver boyfriend of yours. You have a good one, yeah? You too. See you later. Clayton. Surprised I'm still here. Are you okay? Well, what do you think? Listen, do you know anything about this DVD that's been put through our letterbox? No. DVD of what? This place. Of me and David asleep. What the hell, Clayton? I told them you wouldn't bring in the drugs. Oh, oh what? So they thought they'd intimidate me? Yeah, well, I've taken it to the police. No, you can't. Someone broke in here in the middle of the night. There are kids here. What about your kid, eh? What do you think is going to happen to me if you go shooting your mouth off to the police? Or don't I count? So, so what am I supposed to do? I told you. They'll kill me and they'll kill you too. Oh, please, Mum. Just bring in the drugs. I feel stupid. Shh. Yoga's a time for quiet contemplation. I thought it was supposed to make me more bendy. <sighs> <laughs> Make yourself oh. at home, mate, won't you? Sorry, man. Sorry, Sal. I, uh, Abby thought you were having a lie in there. What were you up to down there? Anyway? Oh, I'm just trying to help Tim improve his Bianca. I bet you are, you naughty little mix. <laughs> Aye. Mm -hmm. I should be so lucky. So, how was your night? Oh, uh, yes, it was... Uh, oh, good, thanks. Sounded like it. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'll, uh, all right, I'll go and get them. Mm. Go get changed. Stop. <laughs> if you must. Oh, he's great, isn't he? Yeah, he's great. Why don't you make us some green tea, Tim? Yoga's one thing, love, but I'm not drinking that rubbish. I stick kettle on for you, though. So you're still working on him, then? Absolutely. But to be fair, it's not exactly a hard ship, if you get me drift. <laughs> Just don't go and get him your heart broken, will you? I'm not going to, all right? But thanks for the pep talk. Now, if you'll excuse me. It's still here. I mean, if it's not shifted soon, there'll be trouble. I mean, there must be some human rights law about blocking out too much light or something. Human rights? Yes. And shouldn't you be speaking to Carla? I mean, she's the one who said he could dump it here in the first place. <laughs> I think that's a slight exaggeration. Is it? I measured it the other oh, day. Oh, I've really got to get this. Why, right, here you. Uh, Mitchell, my favourite customer. You know, I'm rather fancy sailing. Or do your hat scarves, a glass of champagne, go wherever the fancy takes you. Oh, just have a word with God, Tim. You are kidding, aren't you? His idea of a water holiday is a canal barge stopping at every pub along the route. Ah. Oh, morning, girl. When are you moving this from my front door? Soon. Very soon. Because what makes you think you can commandeer the public highway like you own it when everybody Gail, else said, has yes, to walk you. around I, it? Gail, like... I do understand. Thank you. Yeah, there is something rather romantic about it, Gail. Well, if it is, it's going on below decks with that lodger of yours. Hi, Sam. Hmm, man has cost now. Poor thing, I do feel very sorry for him. I mean, one minute he's got a brother and sister, and the next minute he's like an only child. He did ask if he could take care of them, but social services said no. Yeah, Sarah did say that Adam was trying to help him. Better get off. See you later. Thanks, mate. Bye. Hey, uh, you need to get that shifted. Hey, don't you be worrying about it. Gail's had a word. OK. No, it's not OK, because I'm going to get in the neck. Just move it. Carla said it's fine. Oh, Carla said it's fine. It's not. Shift it. Right, if you finish that, we go upstairs and brush your teeth, please. I'll start eating. Yeah, well, we're going to be late, so please just go. Go get your bag, Joseph. <coughs> so Emma just locked you in there? Yeah, she must have thought we'd gone home. There's me thinking you hadn't called because you got lucky. <laughs> no, there was no getting lucky, believe me. A cold concrete floor stinking of ale is not exactly an aphrodisiac. <laughs> hey, Kirk could pay good money to stay in that cellar for the night. Come to think of it, so would I, actually. It's quite literally beer on tap, isn't it? <laughs> School are doing a musical performance. Who would send the kid home with a mini marching drum? Do me, Eddie. <laughs> Ruby, get off that drum and brush your teeth, please. Well, I'm sorry it didn't work out for you yesterday, mate, but tomorrow's another day and all that. Or maybe it's a sign it's not meant to happen. Right, come on, let's get your coat on. See you later, mate. Thanks again, yeah? Bye. Yeah, Kirk's a good lad. To be honest, I'm just that grateful to have a job. Yeah, so you should be. I mean, lucky for you, wrapping up pants requires very little skill. Yeah, yeah, cheers. But then, if we're all creative types, who'd do the grafting? Now, I was just saying he's landed on his feet, hasn't he, over at the factory with his skill set. Well, hopefully he'll be playing by the rules from now on. Well, you don't think there are rules inside? The difference is, if you screw up in there, you're dead. Yeah, but, you know, like, can't you... talk to the guards, you know, if someone gets violent? <laughs> Lads get targeted you know, for sex, drugs, or just because it's a laugh. Your life can be made of misery. Well, how do they cope? I mean, how do they get it to stop? Some don't. Right, I better shift anyway. Catch you later. Yeah, see ya. Listen, um, I could have another coffee if you do a break. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not doing one so late. Right. Probably should head up the barbers anyway. Right, I'll see you later on. See ya. You bunking off? Just late for school? No, Billy left early and I fell back asleep. But don't tell him though, will you? He's got this thing about punctuality. Hey, do I look like a snitch? Breakfast. We don't tell Billy. 
thinks I'm a full English kind of guy. Quite like a snitch. <laughs> Hi. You're going to be late for school? Yeah, so are you. I've got an excuse, though, haven't I? I'm pregnant. Yeah, I know. Of course you do. I expect the whole school does. Well, it is kind of a big deal, so... Really? Sorry. I'm going to walk. You were just unlucky. And if anyone can get through this, you can. The bus will be here in a minute. Have you had breakfast? Yeah. Okay, mate. All right. No worries. Cheers. No room at the inn. Nah, all the boat yards are full. Can you just wait until the place comes up? Nah, I need to get it shifted before Gail rounds up a lynch party. What's wrong with people? I mean, why would anyone prefer to look at an old boring factory door or a load of mucky engine parts? Oh, I don't know. But to be honest, I can't be doing with them either. You'll find something. And then they sort of find something else to moan about. Ah, no doubt. Mm. Clayton? Yeah. Are you okay? You've got to help me. Why? What's happened? Have they hurt you? No, but they will. Mum? Okay, um, right. Tell them I'll do it, whatever they want. Okay, and obviously I've not done this before, so I don't really know what I'm doing. How am I even going to get the stuff? We'll find you. I've got to go. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, I'm also not super nan or anything. I yeah, know, mate. It's not easy. Then, school, right? He sent Ruby home with his drum the other night. It was doing me head in that much. I had to wear a fluffy ear. That's him, man. Want to know what time his car's gonna be ready. Mm -hmm. No! What's up? The drum, it was for a musical performance at the school. What now? Yeah, sorry, I thought I told you. No! What about in man's car? Right, well, I I'll come straight back, right, and tell him I'll have it to him by the end of the day. We told him this morning. What do you want me to do, mate? Look, I'm sorry, I know I've been off a lot since my nan's gone, but I'm gonna sort it, okay? Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. How many more times do you want me to say that I'm sorry? Oh, a couple more yet, I reckon. There's puddles of ale on the floor down there. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Are yeah. Ooh, this all looks nice. No, thanks to you. Sorry? This place looked like a couple of hen pies had been through, blown by a hurricane. Well, you said you were going to do the tidying up. I posted the keys through Rita's door, like you said. Except you locked them in. Because your friend here was busy amusing herself in the cellar. Well, what's not going on for ages? Neighbours probably thought you had dodgy pipes or something. Yeah, just dodgy staff as it goes. I'm sorry, all right? Me too. Thing is, there were this party, and because I thought Gemma had gone home, I left. Oh, well. No, I'm done, eh? I've just come for my wages. Oh, have you now? And can I just say, I'm totally happy to do the shifts that nobody else wants to do, you know, so long as it fits in with the salon, Obs. I'm sorry, what? Don't get me wrong, I love the salon too, but I reckon working here's gonna be fun. Sorry, but... I offered Emma a job. Here, behind my bar. I don't think so. You didn't mind her working here when it suited you. Yeah, well, that's as maybe. But she locked up, leaving two people in the cellar and this place looking a right tip, so I think I'll pass. How long were you here? Four hours. Right. Yeah, yeah. I think we're quits. You were well out of order. No, you were. And that's 25 quid I'm ducking from your wages. Hey, Mickey, how are you doing? Good, yeah. So, this is it. Yeah. 
You got me message, then? Aye. As in the area, so... Nice little boat. Hey. I'm hoping you're gonna tell me the place for it in your yard. Sorry, mate, we're rammed. <sighs> How long do you need this store for? In case I hear of anyway. Well, it'll be a couple of months. What's the plan? Well, I've decided to take off, you know, have a change of pace, do you know what I mean? But you can't be ready soon, eh? Got a load of charter work lined up in Kefalonia, suit you down to the ground. Yeah? Mainly taking day trippers to a thick and sickens thus. You interested? I mean, she looks in pretty good nick to me. Oh, she is, yeah. But to be fair, I have been working on her day and night. Yeah, I've done a good job, mate. Listen, if you can have it finished in two weeks, so you can be set up before Easter, the gig's yours. Oh, do you know what, mate? It's, it's very tempting, but uh, I said I'd set off in a couple of months, you know, and I'll tell you why. My boy, Simon, he's doing his GCSE, so I really need two years to support him. Sorry, then. Reminded me to take my blood pressure meds. Oh. Which is why I'm off to Greece myself in a few days. Yeah. So listen, mate, I've got to be somewhere. Now, you got my number. Yep. If you do decide you fancy it, give us a bell. I will. Hey, it's good to see you, man. And you, mate. Take care. But Roy, it doesn't take a genius to work out why you're sleepwalking again. The last time we did it was when your dad died. Correct. Well, as far as I'm aware. Well, now with your mum passing, you know, it's all tied in with the grief. But as I say, it'll pass. And how are you going to keep safe in the meantime? Well, I suspect once I've solved the riddle of the inscription... Then... But, and until then, what, we're both going to keep walking around like zombies? Please, Roy, I beg of you, get some help, you know? If not for your sake, for mine. You know... You can't bottle up grief. Take it from somebody who knows. Yeah. Over here, uh, home salad on brown. Yes, uh, come on up. You all right? Said, so, please, don't be like that. How's job hunting? Is anything going? Just, just get out of my face, will you? I know you hate me right now. But don't you ever make out like giving away my babies isn't killing me. Is it? Really? Didn't look like you were in too much pain when you were mucking about with Peter Barlow. And that stupid boat kissing him like you didn't care about how else, let alone my brother and sister. Keeping myself busy right now is all that's stopping me from going mad. But it didn't look like you were suffering to me. So, so what? What? You, you, you prefer to see me drugged up in a gutter? Is that it? Well, there's still time. Why break the habit of lifetime? That's enough. He just needs time off. The one thing you hope you'll never see is your kid looking at you and this hate in his eyes. He doesn't hate you. He just hurt and angry. Like I said, he just needs time, Abby, that's all. Oh, David's not in there. No, I won't be long, though. Oh. Want to take the keys and wait? Yeah, go on, then. In a bit. <laughs> See ya. Hey. Here she is, my favourite deckhand, don't you know? <laughs> oh, glad I'm someone's favourite. Of course you are. Ah. Mm. Uh, I don't suppose she fancy showing you appreciation back at number four, especially now both landlords are Oh, do you know what? Mm. As tempting as that sounds, I need to crack on here. I've got to get these electrics sorted. Been off for a circuit board. That's a new low, even for me. Thing is, get this. I've been offered some work. Oh. In Kefalonia. Old acquaintance of mine turns up, sees the boat. All right. That sounds good. Yeah, but the thing is, though, it would mean me leaving sooner rather than later. But how much sooner? A couple of weeks. Well, it's a great opportunity, isn't it? Mm. Got to at least think about it, you know. Oh, sorry, we're not open yet. Oh, no worries, love. We're answering enough as it is. Anyway, it's you that we've come to see. Sensible lad, you're Clayton. Well, if he's that sensible, he won't be inside now, would he? Uh -huh. Here's you a bit gobby. Word of advice, love. Play nice if you know what's good for you. 
A little present. What is it? Smarties. You don't need to know what it is. I'm not carrying anything that I don't know what it is. Coke. All right. It's cocaine. Um, I was just waiting. Uh, these guys were just looking around. All right. I'm the owner. Yeah, all right, mate. We were just uh, checking the place out, weren't we? Uh, well, we'll come back when it's open, like. We'll call first, though. Make an appointment. What was that about? And don't tell me a short back in sides. And we're back to Coronation Street in half an hour. <laughs>